This week in our VIP Board Exam Prep Academy classes, we're also going over gingivitis perio and what you need to know for the board exam. So I'm going to show you guys a couple different slides here and I'm going to talk about them just to kind of jog your memory. So if this is a tough topic for you, definitely study it because not even just for the board exam, you have to know it for the real world. This is going to be what you're looking at primarily when you see your clients. So Looking at periodontal disease here, the main thing that I want to bring to your attention is you have to remember as soon as you have a four millimeter pocket, this is an early sign of perio. How do you know there's a four millimeter pocket is you have to probe. So for dental assistants, you don't have to know the specifics about perio, which is nice because that's more for the dentist and the dental hygienist to have to worry about. But you do have to know when you're looking in a client's chart, you're going to be looking at the periodontal probing numbers. If you see a lot of four millimeter pockets, what does that tell you? What if you see a lot of eight millimeter pockets? What does that tell you? So these things you do have to know. So four millimeter pockets, it's going to be early perio. Moderate perio is already a five millimeter pocket, sometimes also a six millimeter depending on what textbook you read. So moderate, think five to six, anything higher is going to be advanced perio. But then for the board exam, you also have to know if a client has one four millimeter pocket, do they have periodontal disease? If it's just one out of all the areas, Yes, they still have early perio, but that would be localized early perio. So that's a very clear distinction that you have to make note in the chart. What if they have one six millimeter pocket? Do they, ha do they have moderate or advanced perio right away? Yes, they do, but it's going to be localized. So you need to know for the board exam, for dental hygienists more so, when you would refer a patient back to have three month cleanings, four month cleanings, six months or nine months. We go through all of this inside the board exam prep academy. So if you need help, you definitely wanna sign up for that course. So I talked a little bit in an earlier video about chronic perio and also um, acute perio. You need to know the differences between the two, but then you also have to know, is this early perio, moderate or advanced, sometimes referred to as severe perio. So severe and advanced mean the same thing. But you need to know, is it chronic or is it acute? One easy way to figure this out is most clients are going to be chronic perio because it happened over a period of time. It's because they're not brushing as best as they could using the water pick, using mouthwash, coming in for the regular cleanings. I would say acute perio is more if they get a popcorn kernel stuck in their gum and it's red, puffy, swollen, bleeding, and you're like, whoa, what's going on here? That happened quickly. It's very severe and that would be acute perio disease, especially if it's not taken care of, that can actually lead into the bone and start to destruct the bone. So talk about popcorn kernels with your clients. So make sure to know the difference between early, moderate, and severe perio. Early, four millimeters, moderate, five to six, depending on the textbook, and then um, advanced perio is going to be over seven. But pay attention to the differences too. For example, if the gums are bleeding spontaneously, is that going to be early perio? Probably not. That is more advanced perio. And then when do you start to notice bone loss? Would that be right away? Um, would that be you have to look at x-rays to know for sure? You would start to notice it in moderate perio. So in my VIP board exam prep academy class, I do kind of go through key points with them. So they don't have to read the entire chapter on perio because that's hundreds and hundreds of pages. I have some it down for you here. So just um, skipping over a few slides, make sure to remember ANUG and different types of perio and different types of gingivitis. Categories are different. You need to know that. You know, a patient who has perio because they have trouble brushing their wisdom teeth and that's the only area where they have perio is very different than a patient who brushes once a week, they see the dentist every year, they don't care that their gums bleed all the time. Those perio conditions are going to be different. And remember what I said before, make sure to remember the signs of inflammation. They love to ask that on the board exam. Bleeding is the first sign. Redness is a very close, but redness is number two, the second sign. Oh, sorry guys, you couldn't see that PowerPoint because I was in the way. There we go. So this is all inside the VIP Board Exam Prep Academy course. So 
Know the different forms of gingivitis and perio. Also know there are antibiotics that could be used in those more severe cases. So I have lots of PowerPoints like this. This one's a longer one again. It's about 80 slides, but I have lots like this because I'm a firm believer and I don't want you guys to just open up the textbook and read your textbook for the board exam. You are going to end up having to study too much. You're going to be exhausted. I just want to teach you what you have to know for the board exam. So I have different courses for dental hygiene students and different courses for dental assisting students. So definitely sign up if you need help. It is learn at your own pace. You have full access for a whole year. So not for a couple months, not for, you know, the whole year because I want you to pass and I'm here to help you pass. So let me know if you need any help. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.